Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. So, a little experiment. I've been using paint and water combinations for some of my paintings. So, just paint and water mixed with a ratio of one to one. Along the way, I've added some silicone oil to some of the colours, not all of them. So, I've got some leftover paints, enough for one more painting. So, the experiment is what happens when I put all the paints in one cup and just pour it out. What's the reaction going to be like? I don't know. I've not done it yet. So here's the canvas I'm going to use. It's just a smaller square canvas, big enough to use all of my paints up. So I love experimenting. I love that you're here with me. So let's see what we can create. So here are all my colours. You can see I've not got much of each colour. These are some of the colours that I've been using over the last few paintings. These are paint and water combinations only. So just paint and water, one part paint to one part water. Three of these colors. So this one, the sky blue and the green have silicone oil in, three drops of silicone each. So I'm gonna put all these paints in a cup Here's my canvas, it's a square canvas, and all I'm gonna do is pour onto the canvas, maybe use my hairdryer as well, but also my heat gun to help the paints react. So, how's it gonna turn out? I can't wait to do this. So, first of all, all I'm going to do is take each of the colors and pour them into my cup. And I'm literally pouring the colours one by one on top of each other. And I'm aiming for the centre of the cup for where I'm pouring the paints. That's just going to help those paints infuse together. And the paints where I've got the silicone oil will also help those colours react. So just one colour at a time until I've used all my paints up into this clear cup. Okay, so I'm done and I actually think the cup itself looks really pretty with all of those colours in there from blues, reds, a white, yellows, lots of different colours across the spectrum. So now it's about taking the cup and literally all I'm going to do is pick my cup up and pour the paint from the cup directly onto the canvas. Just one big pour literally tipping all of that paint from the cup onto the canvas itself. So now I'm going to take my hairdryer. My hairdryer is always on a cool setting and the lowest blow speed. And many of you have actually written to me and asked me which hairdryer I use. So I list all of that information in the description box. So just expand that box and there's lots of information in there about the type of hairdryer I use, the ratios I use, my consistencies, and even the brands of paint that I use for each painting. So check that out for lots more information. But for this part, I'm literally starting from the middle and blowing the paint from the middle to the outer edge and you can see how those colors are infusing and reacting with that silicone that we've added to just three of those colors it's really exciting to see how the paints react and how those colors evolve into different tones as well as i blow out from the middle to the outer edge
I'm continuing to blow because there is a lot of paint volume on this canvas for the size of the canvas. I could have probably done a 20 by 20 inch with the paint that I had. But I just want to ensure that there's not puddles of paint on the canvas before I stop. Because if there are puddles on that canvas, it would basically mean that the, the paint may crack, it won't dry consistently. So I'm just looking for that smooth coverage of paint. And then once I'm confident with that, I then take my torch, it's a butane torch, and I just go over the paint to pop the air bubbles, plus to help that silicone react. And you can see here how all those cells are emerging and popping through with all that infusion of color. I just love to see how this is transforming using the torch and obviously that combination of paint, water and silicone oil. And if you're enjoying this video, then I'd please ask you to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it out and let me know what you think about this piece in the comments below. Okay, so I'm done with the torching and wow, look at all these cells. And with all that colour combination, I imagine myself just laying down in a forest, looking up at the sky through lots of trees and branches and leaves. It's almost quite magical for me and I really love this painting. I just love all those colours coming together. They haven't muddied, but there are great tones of each colour within this creation. I lost a bit more of the red than I wanted to, but there's still a hint of it there. But I really love that brown middle and how the colours kind of extend from the middle to the outer edge. I'm going to let this dry and I'll of course show you the dry version in a second. But let me know what you think about this piece and would you like me to experiment more with silicone oil? in terms of how many drops of oil we would need for certain paintings and techniques. Let me know again in the comments below. I really value all of your feedback. So here's the dry version. I love it. In fact, shall I dare say it again? It may be one of my most favorite pieces that I've done. Well, favorite pieces with silicone oil anyway. So a big, big thank you to each and every one of you for all of your support, for watching me week after week, for commenting, for sharing out, and let me know what you really think about the art form that I'm experimenting with. I hope you have a great week ahead. And if you try this too, then I'd love to see what you create. So you can always drop me an email with a picture of your creation. Thank you again for all of your support. And I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.